Hey there YouTube, Mr. Looking Dead 13 here once again. And I was just, after my last video that I just did today, um, I was just kicking about and I got an email, not an email, um, a private message in from another YouTuber. And they were asking about my tattoos and what they mean and when I got them and just how many I've got and all that rubbish. So I thought I'd do a tattoo update video because, you know, everyone else is doing that. Anyway, so I figured I'd start at the top and work my way down. And probably my highest up tattoo is I've, I've got um, a little emo girl or whatever, if that's politically correct. Um, my friend drew it and then my friend did it. So uh, I'll try and show you guys, but I can't promise anything. It's just sitting in there. So I'm sorry if you can't didn't see that, but if you did, cool. Um, my next tattoo down is probably my chest tattoo. That was the first one I got, and I know it's quite childish and a strange thing to see on someone like me, but um, it does it does say "Come to Wonderland," as you can see, and I got it because like the whole thing with Alice in Wonderland, like the original storybooks and the movies and other writings about it, is like Alice is trapped, or well, feels trapped in this world where everything has to be proper, everything has to be 100%, she needs to do everything 100% no matter what. But then she goes to Wonderland and she can be as mad as she wants, she can have, she can let out that mad side, she can let out her creativity and I believe that everybody has to let out their creativity and let out that mad side every now and again. So I got that. That was probably, that was one of my earlier tattoos and you can see it because it's faded a little bit like along here and along the swirls and stuff and especially that one up there is needing redone. Um, pain rating for that one it wasn't too bad like going across these bits and up to about there it was sore in there like right next to my shoulder joint but the sorest bit was right on on the breastbone um, well I've got two chest tattoos, there's that one and I'm going to take my shirt off for this one the second one that I have is that one, my coffin once again up here wasn't so sore but getting the actual coffin done because that goes down onto my um, diaphragm that shit sucked um, well my top's off got these ones got like my faceless girl I was thinking about getting a face put in her but I've changed my mind I'm either just going to get like words or like just white colouring or black shading or whatever and the only bit of colour that's going to be on her is like her hair, which is still needing done, and the big blue rose. That didn't that didn't hurt too badly. It was more up on this bit, like leading onto my shoulder bone, and like right up here on the actual bone that it hurt. And like round here, these guys weren't too bad. Like I've got, I don't know if you guys can see it. I've got a little white rose, a little lilac rose, a purple skull. No, purple skull, a yellow rose, and red rose, and then a green rose. And um, wait, there's loads of reasoning behind that. Uh, those ones in particular, because my artist, who is also um, a very dear friend of mine, a very old friend at that, um, he, like, I trust him enough to say just do whatever. I, you've, I've given you the design. I've given you the idea of the colours I'd like. Just do like work your magic and I'll just sit there and deal with it and he like put this really nice um, bright yellow rose in right there if you guys can see that okay he put that in there and like all the roses in there were really situated towards me from him because he's the only one that's really worked on this sleeve he's building it up slowly you know and he said something about like the yellow rose meaning valiance and the white rose meaning purity and the purple rose meaning something else. So he, he put them in for me and I thought that was pretty cool because of the detailing he put it in, he made it look sort of like cartoon realistic sort of thing. Now I've got like that skull there and the pretty awesome red spider webs that are coming out of it. 
they they actually hurt uh, really so like really bad up here, like on the bone bit next to shading, but it, like the bit in there, like on going under my arm, that didn't hurt that bad. And then like obviously I've got all those skulls worked in. That skull's from my mother because there's lots of stuff going on there and like as all kids do when they're young um, I had some problems going on with my mom always arguing and all that rubbish so once that all stopped, once I got my own place I got this to signify the, the beauty of a family relationship and no matter what you can always get through it and then I've got that in there for my friend, hang on. I've got that one in there for my friend, who I see as one of the most beautiful people in the world, like inside and out. No matter what it is, they will always find something beautiful or worthwhile in it, even if it's someone is useless and pointless to the world. They will always find someone worth it. And I've got forget me nots in there and stuff like that, because um, apart from roses, they're my favourite flower. And then I've got my portrait. And if you've watched loads of, a few of my videos, you should know who that is. If not, keep an eye out for his face. And then I've got like these ones here. That's a skull from my granny. Her real name's Daisy, so I got a Daisy put in the eye, which I think is pretty cool. And that skull is probably the sorest tattoo I've ever had. But it was down here on the actual wrist because I got that one for my other friend, and the signification of that is like I met her through a really shit time in my life, um, through a really painful time. But I got through it, and I ended up with something I'm really happy with, which is her friendship. So I dedicated that skull to her because I knew it was going to hurt. So instead of just forgetting about it and just not doing it, I just fought through it and treated it how I did in real life and got through it and I ended up with something I'm happy with. It's annoying though because the source bit isn't even redone, as you guys can see. Apart from that, I'm quite happy with it. And then, that is my very first tattoo. Well, one of my first. It's my first proper tattoo. By class as a tattoo anyway. Got that one um, for very personal reasons, which I'm not going to release to YouTube um, under these circumstances. I might do in the future, but there's no demand for it, so I'm not going to release it. And then there's that one. I drew this um, shortly after I started building up this arm. Um, and that's only because it's like, it's the only skull apart from um, that one, which is just going to be more or less plain. Oh, sorry, the big one, which is going to be more or less plain. Um, I'm just going to shade it in apart from the eyes. The eyes are just going to be bright blue. And that's what I'm doing with that skull. So that's, that's that arm. And staying on that side of the body, I got my back done recently. And you guys can see my very first tattoo. I never show this to anyone. But, see that little black star there? I got one on each shoulder blade. got one on each shoulder, and that was my very first tattoo. But I got that big um, cutthroat razor blade, because I've got a thing for cutthroats. I've even, I, I even own cutthroat, so my friend designed that up for me because he knew I liked Sweeney Todd, the movie, and the musical, and all that stuff, so he designed that up. I'm getting another one on the shul other shoulder blade saying you shall drip rubies and all this stuff. Um, so th that's that arm and that shoulder and my neck. Um, moving on to this arm, I got some full-size forget-me-nots realistic style, so I always, um, there's a dream behind it. I saw them in a dream and there was a message with the dream. So I got them and that was the exact way that I saw them in the dream and the exact colours and the exact size and everything. So I got that because it means a lot to me. And then I got these um, knuckle dusters with a 13 in it just because I was doodling one day and my friend was around 
uh, the same friend that did the back of my neck, and I asked them if they wanted to go down and get a tattoo uh, done, so I went and went to the place and got that done. My next one is a zombie with big babies because obviously no matter what sexuality you are you will always see um, you'll all, most people always appreciate boobies so I got that, it's a little zombie with big boobs and dreadlocks and I, you can't usually see it but on her arm she has a little heartogram tattooed there um, hang on a minute, I'm going to do this and um, so I got that heartogram because I'd always wanted a tattoo there of a heartogram. I'd always wanted the heartogram tattooed there, but in the end, um, because when I was young I was an idiot and went and got an India ink tattoo, which many of you might know what it is. I know I was young, I was stupid, I was just desperate to get a tattoo. So I had this terrible heartogram and she was a cover up for that. So I got her done and I've got like rest in peace up sitting across there and most most of this arm is like like this symbolizes life because it's all like sugar skulls and colors and really nice lining and stuff and this arm symbolizes death loads of people think that it's just been done really badly and not that it's meant to look like that so and it's like loads of music has influenced this and tv shows and stuff so i've got a t my ticket to hell because I've been told by so many Christians and stuff like that that I'm going there so I thought I'd get myself an official ticket just make sure that I actually get in I don't want to be left at the door and then I've got a little it people say it looks like a 23 I want like all my subscribers and all you guys that look watch this I want you guys to tell me if it looks like a 23 or not it's meant to be a 13 but um, you know when you get a tattoo when you're drunk then anything looks like anything you know and then I've got some words that I heard or I came up with, I'm not sure. Uh, it says, your death is beautiful. And I got a little coffin with a blood drop in it. Um, and that signifies, like, no matter how... If you love someone, it shouldn't matter if they're dead or alive. You should always see them as beautiful and respect them in that way. So, your death is beautiful, I got that. And this is quite a funny tattoo, actually. It's now before I get any hate mail about it or whatever, saying that I shouldn't have got it done or it's terrible or anything like that. Bear in mind, it's meant to look like this. It's the one on the inside of my elbow, right there. Um, I don't actually know if you guys can see it properly. It's a little sort of emo gothic boy. Please don't let anybody be offended by that word. I don't mean it in any way. I can't. I just can't describe it in any other way. He's got long black hair and these two red horn things and a red eye and stitches for a mouth. Um, this is a drawing that my friend did of me years ago and we were having a laugh and we were having to do self-portraits in art in school one day and they took the piss and did that one of me which I find pretty funny and then we had this in-joke going that I was going to get it tattooed on me um, one day so I end up, ended up getting it tattooed, I went and got it done um, so that's that, and we'll go from the bottom. In case you can't read it, that says nowhere. Um, for two reasons, people always say that I'm going nowhere, so I just wanted to prove them wrong by getting that and remembering it, and just proving that I don't give a shit if I'm going nowhere. Um, I'm going to make the most of it when I get there, you know? Um, that and it's my favourite song. But Nowhere is a song by the Murder Dolls. Most of you guys should have heard of it. If you haven't, look it up. Um, but the lyrics in it means so much to me. They speak so much to me. So I got that done. And then I've got a word in there, zombie, because my friend most of my tattoos come from friends and family and people I care about. My friend said to me that when I wake up I look and sound like a zombie so I got that tattooed in there and I've got little bats. I've got my little bat in there and I've got like a little bug thing. More little bats and spiders and stuff. 
So I got all that stuff put in, like the petals. This is meant to be a rose. Like I drew this on a train coming back from London one day because I got bored and then I really liked the way that I did it because it signified so much exactly how I felt about that song and exactly how that song sounds to me. So I got the rose done in that way and I've got the wording done in that way and I've got like this uh, the stem of the rose coming in and out of the words and coming up into another tattoo on my wrist there and like petals from the rose falling down falling down that way and I don't know if you guys can see this I really hope you can but as you know 13 is my number one of my numbers and um, for many a reason but there is a little 13 just there in the way that I write it just coming across there I don't know if you guys could see that okay but yeah and um, so there's that and then I've got Wednesday 13 signature right there from one time that ah oh, fuck off Skype from one time that I uh, got his my album signed from him and all that stuff um, I've got a really sad tattoo on this arm so I'll leave that to last in case I uh, you know so I've got this one here uh, my coffin which has a rose a lily two cherries a tattoo gun a forget me not a daisy a 13 key a diamond with a heart of gram in it, barbed wire, um, a yin and yang symbol, one of those, that rose's petals, and a spider web, and some little thing that looks like a pill, I don't know. Um, but that coffin signifies, like, the colouring in it, the lining in it, and absolutely everything that's drawn, that's tattooed in the coffin, signifies everything that's in my life. My love of tattooing, um, my sister, my brother, my mum, everything like that. So that's all in there. That one there on my wrist, if you guys can see it, it's met, it's a little pumpkin, like a little cartoon pumpkin with a 13 on it. And if you look at the date, that was Halloween last year. It was when I went to the Coco gig and saw Wednesday 13. And I woke up the next morning and decided to go and get a tattoo done, so I went and got that done. It's meant to look orange, but it's faded out. Uh, a little bit, so yeah. Um, I've got more little bats and an anchor there because my best friend, who I love very much, um, he's like a really old school. He's a guy like you know the old school tattoos, which are like really big, colourful roses, beautiful women portrayed, and like anchors and rope and nautical stuff. He really likes that stuff, so that's his favourite style of tattooing. So I got a little line of uh, outline anchor there. Another little bat. Each bat means an episode in my life, like from my baby bat days and stuff like that. So I got all that stuff. I've got a little 13 on my wrist. That's how I write my 13s. I've got a 13 on my wrist. There's my stitches around my hand. Um. I've got my padlock, more um, petals, and this is an interesting tattoo. This was the first tattoo um, I got on this arm. That's like that was on the underneath of the arm. I had um, like that one and my forearm done before. So I, I got this uh, rose. I was in my sister's house one day, and she just got a pen and started doodling, and I really liked the idea of it. So. I went and got got a tattoo, and I just I kept the pen on there and just got them to tattoo in it, I tattoo it in, and I've got my niece's initial just there, a little a, which looks like a black dot here, and I came up with this thing, uh, this little thought that I had while I was getting this tattooed, which I decided to get in. Um, it says "Loves a rose, so let it bloom." Um, I thought that was quite nice when I came up with it, so I got it thrown in there. And then I've got my Grave Robin badge. I don't know if you can see that too well. It says Grave Robber 13. And then I've got Dead. If you guys listen to Wednesday 13, um, then you will know like the song Dead Carolina, which he spells out dead, and I like the sound of that song. So I got D-E-A-D -E dotted. And then if I turn it round next to it, I've got Lost. 
which the tea has faded out, so I'm, I'm lost right now. Uh, what else have we got? Oh yeah, um, if you are awesome and you're a Jackass fan, you will know this TV show. Oh god. Viva La Bam, baby. I got a little heart gram on my elbow as well for that. So I got, I got all that stuff. And that was my first little bat. My friend was doing it, and it was their first ever attempt of a tattoo um, after their apprenticeship and stuff. So it didn't go too well because that was before I'd ever been tattooed properly, and it was jumping about a little bit. So that's meant to be a bat with a 13 above it. It didn't work. Um, so along with that, moving on to my hand, I've got W13 written in sort of gothic style. And then it's needing redone because my hand's skin is just not good at taking ink. I've got sort of old school rose with a diamond, or well, part of a diamond. This is meant to be a feather, but like, oh, hang on. That's meant to be a feather. But like I said, my skin, the skin of my hand just doesn't take the ink that well. Um, and that's the tip of a tattoo gun with uh, one of my best friend's names in it. I did have that tattoo knuckled. Um, <laughs> I had that tattoo knuckled, apparently. No, I, <laughs> I had that knuckle tattooed with white ink, and it was a little heartogram, but that didn't work. I used to have my palm tattooed, but that's literally all that's left, a little black line and a black dot. Uh, what else have I got done? Right, so I've done my top half. I've my friends call me Punk Horror. That's like my second name around my friends. Um, I don't really know the ins and outs of that story. So when I find out, I will upload a video about it if it is in popular demand. But I got this tattoo because that's the name that my friends use around me. I got that tattoo in that style because it's like a sort of horror writing so I chose to go th to get that um, that heartogram was done by someone and it wasn't done properly so I'm in the middle of getting that covered with a coffin and getting it shaded in black and stuff um, oh yeah I did get my ribs done slightly just there um, the ink didn't go in too well because my skin just doesn't take ink and that bit that's meant to be a rib cage but once again my skin just didn't take the ink because for some reason it didn't want to um what else have i got done i've got most of my legs done i've got both my thighs done uh i've got loads of my calves done um Hang on, I'll see if I can actually manage to get it out. Loads of my legs are just like friends that, like, I've just asked them, Luke, would you come down and just do a tattoo for me? Like, next time I'm down, like, getting another tattoo, just speak to the guy. See, like, just someone will design a tattoo for me, and no matter how ridiculous it is, I'll get it done. Um, so, I'll just move my laptop down there. My first one that I'm going to show you guys. Um, now feel free to rant and rave about this, even send back a video comment because that will be absolutely hilarious. Um, I've got three stick men and the middle one's upside down. Because my friend fucked it up. And they don't even look in proportion, they're not even good stick men. So, I mean, I'm, it's not, I'm not saying that I'm not happy with it, I'm just, I find it fucking hilarious. That was meant to be a black butterfly saying you're beautiful forever. It didn't work. So, I'm meaning to get that covered or redone or whatever. And then I've got a wasp, a bucket, a spider, a katana sword, and a needle. All for fucked up reasons. The bucket was because we, me and my friends used to call one of my other friends, um, a toilet, uh, no, toilet meant Batman, for a joke, so I got a middle-aged toilet tattooed there. Um, I've got a, I've got a Jaffa cake tattooed there, 
I don't even know what it, what it is, what a Jaffa cake is. I just got called it one day and I found it funny. I got a portrait done of a certain somebody who might or might not see this video, so I don't know. I'm sorry it's at a weird angle, but there we go. I got that portrait done. They were trying out some different makeup and I really liked the photo, so I got that portrait done. And then on this leg, these this is like my much better tattoos. I've got a rose, a just simple red rose, and a diamond. That's for my skating team. Whenever we go skating and someone breaks a bone or draws blood or whatever from falling, I'll put another blood splatter or, or I'll put another crack in the bone. Uh, we've only got one crack in the bone right now, which is a good thing. And then tattooed down my shin, I've got the word toxic. I don't know why, I just like the sound of that word. And someone called me at one time trying to be offensive. So I just shut them up by saying I'm going to go and get that tattooed on me and love the tattoo, so whatever. And I got another tattoo for my niece, who was three years old at the time, and said I had to get a tattoo for her. So she said she wanted a rubber duck tattooed on me, so that's a really fucked up rubber duck. Um, what else have I got? Yeah. I've got a really haggard sugar skull thing going there which didn't work and I used to have like these tattoos here but they just faded out because they weren't done deep enough and I've got my friend's name tattooed in my ankle uh, what else have I got? oh yeah uh, I've got my foot done if I can show you guys that Hang on. that's my foot tattoo if you can see it It's a 13 with sort of roots around it. Because I got bored one day and I just started drawing and came out with that and I thought it was pretty cool so I thought I'd get it tattooed on me. Um, future tattoos. Well actually no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> That's how bad I am. I'm addicted. The first stage of healing is admitting that you have an addiction. I have an addiction. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> The last tattoo that I'm going to tell you guys about is my butt. I got my butt tattooed for one main reason. I got my tattoo artist's um, signature on my butt. And that's only because, as an artist, you sign your work at the bottom. Like, if you draw a picture in school, you do some work at school, you sign it at the bottom, don't you? On the right-hand side, so... <laughs> I got it, um, his signature on my right hand butt cheek. Um, so that's all the tattoos that I've got now. Um, tattoos that I'm planning on getting. I'm getting the back of, backs of my ears done. I'm getting the sides of my neck done. I need to get this hand done. I'm getting more of my fingers done. I need to get my chest finished off. Get this bit filled in. And I'm getting this sort of big bone guitar thing going up there. I need to get under here done round there and round there. I need to get more of my back done and finish off my chest and my stomach and my ribs. So apart from that I would love to hear back from you but I'm just going to make it very clear that if someone doesn't like any of my tattoos or thinks any of the designs are stupid or pointless or that I shouldn't have them or whatever or you're going to come out with any sort of bullshit like that the one thing I ask you to bear in mind is well, no, I've got a few, a few things that you need to bear in mind. Number one, I don't give a fuck what you think. It's my body, so I'm going to do it. Number two, I'm pretty sure everyone who supports me on YouTube agrees that it's my body and I can do whatever the hell I want to it, so go and speak to them if you've got a problem, because I won't listen. And I'm pretty sure they won't, so don't speak to any of us. Number three... Um, if you like, if you try to say that that's body mutilation and stuff like that, it's technically body mutilation because yes, you pierce the skin with a metal spike and put ink under it, stuff that's not naturally meant to be under it, and all this rubbish. But if you wear makeup, if you 
wash your hair if you like if you wear makeup any sort of makeup if you wash your hair with um anything other than just pure water if you have your ears pierced and even if you wear clothes then you have absolutely no right to say to me or anyone else what they can and cannot do with their bodies because if you're wanting to look at it literally human beings are animals we're just creatures on the earth we shouldn't be wearing clothes because other animals don't wear clothes it's just our brains have for some reason made us think that nudity is indecent um, tattooing has been around for hundreds maybe thousands of years so you coming into the world like 40 50 years like in the past 40 50 years or whatever you have absolutely no right to say that anybody can't do it because it's culture it's been happening for longer than you've even been thought of probably longer than your family tree has been in the town or in the country that you are living in now and like just doing anything other than washing your body with water putting food in going for a shit anything other than that then you're basically changing the natural law people don't normally wear makeup like naturally people wouldn't wear makeup people wouldn't either wouldn't wash their hair or they just wash it with pure water yeah, so if you wear sh use shampoo and conditioner it's basically the same sort of thing if you pierce your ears that's putting a hole straight through your um your body so you know you can't speak to anyone about anything so if you do anything other than live out in the forest naked killing deer and eating them and then going and washing your hair in a stream then you can't talk to me about anything to do with the natural order of the world. And speaking of piercings, I've only got two right now. I've got that one which you guys can see. It's a pathetic little stretcher. I'm on my way up. I'm getting I'm building up. But fear not because I also have that one. That is twenty six millimeters and it's pretty cool because I can put my thumb through it and gross people out. That's probably one of the only reasons I got it that big. One so I could put a cigarette through it two so I can sit stick my lighter in there so I don't lose it and three so I can gross people out which is probably the worst thing that anybody can do mutilate their body just to gross someone out but either way fuck it nobody's perfect right um, check out my other videos like comment and subscribe downstairs and once again thanks for watching this is Mr. Be being Mr. Living Dead 13 on body piercings, tattoos and mutilation apparently <laughs> anyway I'll see you guys later Ta da